Hello. Today I'm going to be ranking Lemon Demon songs, or Spirit Phone songs to be more precise. And DNL means did not listen because I listened to most of the bonus tracks, but I didn't listen to like Cabinet Man demo yet. I'm sorry, I just haven't gotten around to it. And no, I can't fucking get rid of these ads. I'm sorry. They're just going to be permanently on the corners of the screen, which really, really sucks. Minion. Okay, anyways, sorry for my fucking autism. Ancient Aliens, S, S tier. Do I need to even explain this one? If you guys haven't listened to the album, go listen to it. And especially Ancient Aliens, because it's really good. I have, it's it's going to be hard for me to put into words of why I'm going to rank a song above another one. I just will. Be, uh, I just really like this song because of the synth at the end. The synths are just really, really good. And just the entire song, just the guitar riffs are insane. And I really like that. Angel Fire is a pretty decently calm song, but I really like the alteration from left to right ear. I really like that. It's trippy as hell, but I really like it. So A tier. Not exactly S tier, but still A tier. Angry People. Uh, high A tier. I'm going to put it high A tier. Very good song. Super energetic again at the end. And uh, just really, really good song. It's about how angry sex can lead evil babies yeah it's pretty goddamn far out there um cabinet man demo i have not listened to it cabinet man s tier uh, i'm sorry i'm not putting an sss tier but it's still an s tier i actually thought that cabinet man used to be better than touch tone telephone and some people still think that but not anymore i don't think that anymore cat hacks i have not listened to it enough crisis actors i've listened to this song a bunch and i have to say s tier a low S tier, but still really, really good song. It is just kind of trippy. It sounds like a Pokemon song at the beginning, but then it like alters into this insane song. It's basically like the it's basically like the prequel to uh, Touch and Own Telephone. You could think about it like that. Eighth Wonder, S tier, high S tier, high S tier. Ooh, a little bit above Ancient Aliens, just because the hook is insane. Uh, yeah, it, the hook carries it, but not. Not as much as as your father especially forbid. I'm putting an SSS tier, baby. A lot of people will disagree with me and, and say that Eighth Wonder is like way better. But I have to say, I I have grown as on as your father especially forbid it. it. It's just so good. It is so good. I love like that angry tone of like a satirical like dad like making fun of people like make like you know kind of treat their dad as if they're the most insane people in the world when they're really just not doing that much but it also it fits in as like as like a thing that you know actual people who've had like bad fathers can relate to and uh you know I i've seen that in the comments so yeah just don't go off my word go off of the people in the comments uh geo cities haven't listened to it enough Gravitron, I've listened to it a little bit, and I'm pretty sure it is just the one of the Gravity Falls intros, because believe it or not, Neil did used to work or uh, compose the songs or the intros for Gravity Falls and like the intermissions and stuff, which is really cool, but it didn't get into the final you know, show, obviously, but it's still really cool, and uh, I'm going to be putting that B tier, because it's just an extended version of the Gra Gravity Falls uh, intro that he did, but still, it's a decent song. Kubrick and the Beast, I haven't listened to it enough. A Lifetime Achievement Award, going in S tier. I'm sorry, middle of S tier. Not going in high S tier, but middle of the S tier. Middle. Man-Made Object, it's going It's going down here. It's going down here. One of these two. I'm putting it in low A tier. It's a good song, but it's definitely not on the same level. No, it's above Angel Fire, but in like the actual album and not the bonus track side of the album, this is definitely the weakest song of the album. Without a doubt. Moon's Request, have not listened to it enough. Maybe I might be switching Gravitron and Moon's Request up. I think I might, but maybe I'm not. Who knows? I don't fucking remember what these songs are, to be honest. I Earned My Life, it's better than As Your Father X. I, it's, it's better. I'm sorry. I know I said I just like energetic songs, but I have to make an exception for I Earned My Life because of how fucking depressing the lyrics are, but also how much of a bop it is. It's, it has such a happy instrumental, but just such a really dark lyrics. And the synths are just insane at, uh, like, the graph part. 
I, I re like where he starts talking about his graph. I love the synths in that part. And the ending is just, it, it, it's just pure bliss to my ears. No eyed girl, uh, low S tier. Low S tier, but still S tier. Really good song. It's a, it's a really big switch up from all the other songs on the album. But still, it, 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 I really like the robot voice in the background, you know, just supporting Neil's vocals and just the very minimal amounts of instruments and just relying on the vocals um, of Neil. So, yeah, I really like that. Pizza Heroes, I've listened to it a tiny bit, and I have to say, uh, B tier. Or, yeah, B tier. Hi, B tier. Uh, I think it was just about a song about, like, pizza delivering, like, uh, the concept of, like, pizza delivering at, like, super fast speeds all around the world, which I kind of, I find kind of funny. Rigonomics, uh, I, uh, another S tier or A tier, but I don't know where to put it, and that's the thing. It's going above Crisis Actors, not above Cabinet Man, but it's going above Crisis Actors, just by a little bit. Redesign Your Logo, also going, up, mm, I don't know. I like, I've, I've been getting the like, I've been getting the like crisis actors a little bit more. So I'm putting it on the... I know everyone's going to hate me because everyone also thinks that Redesign Your Logo is like the best so is best track of the album. But still, I'm putting it down here. Soft Fuzzy Man. It's a very, very weird song. But I really like how... And again, how energetic it is. And how weird. And like... It, it sounds like penis music. If you don't know what that meme is, it's basically just weird-ass music. Uh, it, it just sounds like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm putting it probably a little bit above Lifetime Achievement Award. Actually, no, I'm putting Cabinet Man above Lifetime Achievement Award. Yeah. Okay, Spiral Vance, SS tier. Uh, it's E, ooh, ooh, above As Your Father, especially for Bid It, though. It's such a bop. It's, it's just, I just bop my head to it so much, but... Ooh, I don't know. I'm putting no. I'm putting it in the middle. I, I've decided. Sweet Bob, I'm sorry. Why? Why is it so laggy whenever I start like moving it? I don't know. Sweet Bod, going above that. Sweet Bod, funky track. Funky, funky is all hell. The bass line's insane. Touchstone telephone SS tier. Again, ab uh, stop lagging. I hate it. I don't know why it's lagging so much. Touchstone Telephone, it's going below as your father explicitly forbid it, but hey, SSS tier, amazing song. When He Died, um, I think it fits down here. It's a really good song, but I think it's weaker out of all of these other ones. Yeah, it's going up here. Uh, I'm sorry. It's no, no, you know what? No, just to please people, and I, everyone's going to get really mad at me for like putting like four songs above Eighth Wonder. I'm putting it down here. Top of us two. Amazing song. Amazing song. I'm sorry I ranked all these songs really, really well. I just like all the songs on the album. I have no other excuse to make rather than I just like all the songs on the album. Not a single song on the album is bad, in my opinion. All of them are rather okay. Like these like these two. They're just okay. But then there's these, and which are pretty good. And then there's these, which are insane. And then these, which are top tier. One of the best. These are some of the best songs I've ever listened to. I've listened to a decent amount of songs in my lifetime. So, uh, yeah, that is it. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.